Hello everyone, it's your friend Sen, and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts community report. And yes, you can see my motion is kind of working. I've got a light to my right that kind of helps, but it's still kind of glitchy, so I'm gonna turn it off for the rest of the video. Anyway, um, so welcome back. Um, just gonna start in the latest feed there has been some featured things but not very much but there has been a lot of activity recently so most of it's in just the latest feed so first of all um echo um what do you call it? uh was hoping to see some cosplay because they found their cosplay stuff so definitely worth checking out uh, her other posts for uh cosplay but um then we also have these memes that are pretty funny, posted by Maddie. Definitely worth checking out too. Uh, drawing requests for Keyblade. We have what if Namco characters were in you, the Kingdom Hearts universe instead of Final Fantasy characters. I know they they were thinking like Soul Calibur or something like that, I believe. But I I was thinking. You know, actually, it would be really cool to have like a Tales of Arise um, world in Kingdom Hearts at some point. That'd be awesome. Anyway, um, finally got Kyrie here on the ta Tamagotchi. Um, what's funny is they they say that uh, Sora comes by and offends, uh. Kyrie from the Heartless, which is really funny because it's like you almost got just as much, you know, battle bonding between Sora and Kyrie here as you have in like Kingdom Hearts 3. Anyway, I thought that was funny. And here's Yuki with some more amazing art. We have a Keyblade Terrorist list right there. Um, another meme that's pretty funny, definitely worth checking out. It's, it's pretty funny. And then Cleverin has posted the results of the sticker event. Uh, apparently this whole time like uh, points added up to the ending and I just didn't realize that somehow. But anyway, so if you go on there you will you can see the, I believe this is the last one anyway. So that's pretty cool. Um, how would you wield your Keyblade? You know, I haven't really thought about this much, but definitely need to think about it more. I probably, I probably wield it more like a sword. I don't know. But have some more art. This one got featured too. Um, but it's art with a uh, what do you call it? Fanfic. So you yeah, get two in one here if you check this one out. I haven't really checked it out myself, but definitely something if you're needing Kingdom Hearts content right there. Check it out. And then um what would be your keyblade? I would, if I were to have a choose a keyblade, it definitely I would want the ultimate keyblade just because it's the one that looks most like a sword. So that's that's why. And I agree. I hate I hate hot rods too. Hot rods suck. And we had this sleeping post. This one got featured too. It um. I guess that's an interesting story. I haven't read it yet, but definitely, you know, if you're, again, if you are wanting more Kingdom Hearts content, check it out. Um, what spell would you like to know in Kingdom Hearts besides, you know, like Zeta Flare? I would want to know, you know, how Yen Sid does that parting of, you know, parting of the, the, Heartless, you know, it's almost like Moses in the Red Sea, except heartless. It's kind of funny, but 
that's that's the magic I would want. I would want his magic. Yensid. Um Q and A. Um yeah, replaying the games. It's kind of funny when you get to Earth by Sleep, you have to play it three times. Then uh I don't know about the whole Nort thing, just because uh Nort is a thing that I believe HMK coined. So it's not Nort being Norted is not a actual fact in Kingdom Hearts. So just just saying. That's um Uh, some wikis here and then there. Um, if you didn't have the ability to wield a keyblade, what weapon would you use? So this one I thought was interesting because I was thinking, you know, I don't know if anybody's watched Sat Shadowversity on here. Definitely recommend watching him if you haven't. But, um... It, he was working on, he's working on making a, a re, real colossal sword that actually is usable. And he made a foam one, and they were testing out to see what advantages he had. And they found that the two biggest advantages it had was reach and the fact that it had so much mass that it was really hard to knock out of the way. So... I was thinking you could almost, you know, achieve the same thing if you, you designed a thin blade the, the right. Anyway, I kind of answered if I, I, I'll, I might draw it out at some point. I have an idea for a, a thin bladed colossal sword, you know, uh, but that would that would be my weapon of choice anyway um let's see who do you like more Rico Aqua this one is really hard just because it's like these these two have both have a lot of character development out of all the characters besides Sora these two have a lot of character development so it's like I don't know I, I just like Aqua maybe a little bit better just simply because she does act a little more mature. Um, let's see. Which uh, side are you on? Light or dark? Or are you in the middle? Now, personally, I would just encourage everyone to be on light. That's my personal preference because you know Sora, Sora follow Sora's example he's on the side of light come on I know he does have anti-form but I I I you know I feel like he doesn't mean to purposely use anti-form so so I I would say light that's Let's stick with the light. Light is good. Anyway. Um, Kingdom Hearts movie. I don't think so. Just because. Not yet anyway. Just because I feel like if there's anything going to happen with Kingdom Hearts. Uh, movie wise. It would happen after Kingdom Hearts 4. Um, then we also have this. Uh, definitely. The birth by sleep protecting Snow White. That that was just really annoying. I I I didn't like that one. But yeah. Anyway, um and then we have this last one. Which world would you visit? Um in Kingdom Hearts. So if you took Traverse Town from Dream Rock Distance and you combined it with the uh, one in Kingdom Hearts one, that's the world I would want to visit. You know, just visit all of Traverse Town and explore the whole thing. That's what I want. Anyway, that's about it for our community. There isn't too much on 
Uh, cage 13. Mostly just these two here. Um, the new plush for Goofy and Donald. Then there's Kingdom Hearts manga artist Shiro Amino shares crossover art with Parasite Eve. That's about it. And, um, as far as Kingdom Hearts news on YouTube or goes, it's been too many year. Cynical hasn't posted anything over two weeks. Um, Skyward Wing has posted some more stuff more recently, but something interesting is this Don't Touch the Grass one. And I do think the reviewing the Nintendo uh, Keyblade mods plus the Nintendo exclusive Keyblade for the cloud version of the game is kind of interesting. I haven't watched this one yet, but I do plan on watching this one, the one about not being able... Can you beat Kingdom Hearts 3 without jumping? Uh, anyway, um, let's see here. We also have True Blade. True Blade has come out with another uh, set of Kingdom Hearts mods that are cool to use together. If you're ever wanting to play with mods, I definitely would recommend trying out the different set of mods that True Blades, you know, mixed and matched. So he's got. Got some really good Kingdom Hearts content. Honestly, I really like True Blade's content. It's always been pretty awesome. Then we have, um, we also have here's some guys you probably don't know too much about as Regular Pat. Regular Pat does Kingdom Hearts content as well. Um, he did this uh, video here. Now, fair warning, it does have some kind of swearing in it, but it is hilarious. Um, but it does have, uh, it does F bomb drops a couple of times. And so, you know, it happens and it's in there, but definitely, uh, it will give you a good laugh. Then we also have Stickman Sham. Um, he has a lot of Kingdom Hearts content too, but the one that I watched, um, was this one right here. Um, I guess there's a, XP exploit near the end of the game. It's it's pretty good. Um, but one thing I would have to say is that um, you know, if you got mods, you can always just use a mod to get there. I know that's considered cheating, but you know, it does save you a lot more time, especially if you've already played through on it on like your console which I have already played through on my console. So, you know, I just need a mod to get myself the rest of the way there. I guess, you know, I am, I haven't really gone through Sora Alam or HMK. Sora Alam hasn't posted anything in months, so nothing new there. And then HMK, uh, he hasn't really posted anything new about Kingdom Hearts either. Not even subscribe to HMK though, but that's because I, I don't know. I think his, he's, he's all right. He does come up with some interesting things every once in a while, but I just can't stand his weebishness. Like maybe it's the red hair. I don't know. But you know, I, you know, to be honest, cynical can be a little weebish too, but. I don't know. That's that's the thing that kind of bothers me about it. Just a little cringe. Just cringe. But, you know, and you, maybe you might be looking at me and saying, hey, you have an avatar. Who are you to... You're, isn't that kind of weebish? But here's the thing. In order to be a weeb, go, go look it up. Just look it up. Google this. Google what is a weeb. It will tell you. A weeb is... A non-Japanese person who likes Japanese culture so much that they want to be Japanese. I am a quarter Japanese, so 
by default, I do not fall into this category. So, yeah. And anyway, and I've never had the desire to be Japanese because I've, I am Japanese. It's just been part of me my whole life. So, you know, my grandma's from Hiroshima. She saw the Hiroshima bomb. Her family moved out of Hiroshima at Hiroshima six months just before it hit. It's one thing I explain to a lot of people. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, you might say, well, isn't it a little weebish to have my name, you know, my, my YouTube name? It's Senpai Severance. Well, the thing is, I am technically a senpai. I have my black belt in Kyokushin Karate, so it's just a title I have, so I decided to use it. So, yeah. Anyway, that's as far as, you know, that's all just technicalities. But, yeah, that's the, yeah, that's about it for Kingdom Hearts. A lot of activity, a lot of activity. Not too much in the feature feed. Um, There was, like, I don't know. Uh, one, two, oh, that one was three, four, I think four-ish, four, four things, but, you know, lots of activity, lots of interesting things happening, so, um, hope to see more, and that's about it, that's the report of this week, so, if today's your birthday, happy birthday, um, if it's not, have a great day anyway. May your heart be your guiding key and stay awesome. Stay stay happy. Stay stay smiling. Keep keep on the light side, you know. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.